tradition. And when it comes to grilling and barbecue, McCray's is a local tradition. So we are getting some grilling advice from the king of the grill himself, Derek McCray. Derek, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. I see you're already at work there. It looks uh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They got me going early this morning. <laughs> what is the first thing to consider when but grilling? But we're looking good here. Well, the first thing to consider is making sure that your grill is clean, that you get all your safety stuff around, your water, or for some people they might need a fire extinguisher <laughs> or something like that, but you want to make sure all your safety stuff is right and whatnot. Now you're very picky when it comes to choosing your meat, so how do you recommend we go about finding the best meat? Oh yeah. Well, I, I'm a premium cut guy. I like the best ribs the best beef brisket. I look at the chicken, make sure that, that it's an organic chicken. That's how I, I, uh, I uh, choose my meat. Even when it comes to pork butts and stuff, I try to find the one that's less fatty. And then some people, uh, it depends on your budget, what you can spend. So it ain't always that. So if you got a, a lesser cut of meat, that means you have to do a lot more cleaning, a lot more seasoning, and a little bit more tenderizing to get it to where you want it to be. So. Uh, it just depends on the budget. But me, I'm a premium cut guy. I like the premium rib. Uh, yeah, and I, I see that there's this ongoing debate over whether or not to use wood, charcoal, or propane. Uh, what would you recommend? Well, at home, I probably would recommend using uh, charcoal. Or if you know how to use wood, if you know how to use wood, wood is an art form. It's a little different when you use it because the wood could get out of control quickly and it could get hot really, really fast. And with the the grease, with the oil dripping from the ribs and the chicken and things, it could make that fire jump up really fast. So you have to have you got to kind of know what you're doing. But with the propane and with the uh, charcoal, you can kind of control it at home in your backyard. And you're but what using we do charcoal? is it's, it's a different form of cooking. No, I'm using straight wood. Straight I'm wood. a wood guy. We've been using wood <laughs> for 82, 82 years, yes. So you've got it down. Yes. It's a science The wood is the best flavor. <laughs> it is a science. This, this is what we consider an art form. This is an art form. This is not just uh, uh, cooking. We, we do this as, as, a, as a form of art. Well, we should mention Mr. McRae, call him Dr. McRae at this point, a PhD <laughs> in barbecue grilling, uh, his yes. cook for celebrities, for <laughs> Super Bowls. I mean, you are the PhD of, yes. of grilling. And when it comes to food safety, how do we know when our meat's fully cooked? Well, you got you got your temperature gauges. You should use a, a, a pen. It's a temperature pen. If you cook in pork, you need to be at 165 degrees or better to know that that, that, that the meat is done all the way through. Chicken, the same thing. Beef is at 145 degrees. So you need to be able to maintain certain temperatures and understand that's how you'll know that your meat is done. Now you got some people that like, like stuff Pittsburgh and not all the way cooked. I don't recommend that. I recommend that if you cook in pork, that you cook it thoroughly all the way through till you got a good white meat uh, throughout the rib. And matter of fact, let me, pull out one of these slabs I just got through cooking. See, I want to make sure it's a little dark, but I just want to make sure it's all the way cooked because you want to make sure that pork uh, uh, is done because pork can harm you if you're not right. Wow, yeah. that looks great, huh? How many of those do you expect to sell today? Well, I'm hoping we can get through about 25 cases or so or better. You know, uh, uh, that's, that's a few hundred slabs. Uh, ribs and uh, and it's, and it's a normal for us on Memorial Day, uh, or Independence Day, and Labor Day. It's almost like the barbecue holidays that people come out. See the difference now that a lot of people don't cook the way they're used to at home because uh, society has changed. So I get out here and I beat the heat for them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Bracray. The poor guy, yes. he's sweating. The smoke yes. billowing in his face. He's got all the wood stacked oh, yeah. behind him. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Well. You're looking at a master, though. There. Are you? I mean, no are you welcome? And a, and a, yes. And a living legend. Thank you so much for yes. taking the time out today from Mangodia Park. Now I'm hungry.